What's the rule for adding and subtracting decimals? Line them up. Okay. What's the rule for multiplying decimals? Well, we count up. You guys don't have to write this if you know this. Count up um, number of decimals or number of digits behind the decimal and then move it back at the end. How many of you know these rules? Can we divide by a decimal? What? No, you can't divide by a decimal. We have to move them, remember? We can't divide by a decimal. Remember, it's dividend, dividend, divided by divisor. The divisor cannot be a decimal. That cannot be a decimal. So what I want you guys to do is practice those three problems here. We are going to be doing decimal operations with solving. This is and solving. Do you need to write down the objective? No, that's what you should be able to do by the end of the lesson. Remember, the goal is to get the variable by itself by undoing the order of operations, meaning we undo any adding or subtracting first, then we undo any multiplying and dividing. Always make sure your, uh, your problems, your original problems are simplified first. Okay, number one, here's X. What are they doing to X? They're adding 6.3. There's no simplifying I can do. I put my wall up. Remember, we're going up and down because these problems are gonna get 10 times harder. If they're adding 6.3, I'm going to on both sides. and they cancel out 6.3 minus 6.3, just cancel them out with a cross through. That leaves me with X is equal to, uh oh, I gotta do keep change opposite here. What am I really doing? My answer is gonna be negative 1.5. How do I know if I'm right? You plug it right back in there. These are gonna be a little bit harder. Negative 1.5 plus 6.3. I want to know, are they, is that equal to 4.8? Well, what do you do to figure that out? You got to subtract them, right? Hello? Yeah. So you have to go off to the side and take 6.3 minus 1.5. I'm going to borrow. That's 8. I get 4.8. Keep the sign of... Uh, the 6.3, which is positive. Does it work? Yeah. Yep. Do you see how these are a little bit harder than the other ones? Yeah. Wait till we get to fractions. Ugh, love them. Look at number two. It says y minus 5.74 equals negative 3.51. Can I simplify the equation? No, there's nothing I can do to simplify it, okay? So they are taking y and subtracting 5.74. What's the opposite of that? We're gonna add 5.74 to both sides. I wanna show you guys something real quick. Some of you like to do keep change opposite here, which is great. I'll just look at this real quick. Do you see this? See where it says plus negative? If you change that, what's the opposite of addition? What? Subtracting. We would be subtracting a negative, right? If I subtract, let's just say subtracting a negative 5.74, what does that really become? Keep, change, opposite. Aren't we doing the exact same thing? Yeah, so you get y is equal to, what did you get? What did you get, Landon? 
How many have you got? 2.23. Okay, when you check it, go back into the original problem. 2.23 minus 5.74. We want to know, is that negative 3.51? Well, keep change opposite. What are you really doing to those? Subtracting. Subtracting them. So tell me if it checks. Look at number three. Neg uh, number three says 0 0.8 m equals 4.8. What does it mean when 0 0.8 is sitting next to m? What does that mean, Tessa? It means to multiply. We can't simplify anything, so we're going to put our wall up. What's the opposite of multiplying? So we're going to do dividing both sides by 0 0.8. When you divide, 4.8 goes in here. 0 0.8 comes out here. Can we divide by 0 0.8? Move your decimal in both of them one time, which if you look at this, you can tell you that both of those are going to move right there, right? So, what, really, you're taking 48 divided by 8, which is what, Jared? 6. How do you know if you're right? Plug it in right there. So, take 0 0.8 times 6. That's 48, isn't it? Move the decimal point back one place, which is 4.8, and it checks. Number four, it says y over negative 3.1 equals negative 8.4. What are they doing to y? What are they doing to y? What, what does this bar mean right there? What does that mean, Jacob? Divide. Right? So what's the opposite of dividing? We're going to multiply both sides by the exact same number that they divided by, which was negative 3.1. Because a negative times a negative is a positive. These 3.1s cancel out. So you go over to the other side. Negative times a negative on the other side is a positive. Here I get y on this side equals... Go off to the side and take 8.4 times 3.1 for me. How many of you got y equals 26.04? Well, guess what? Now you have to check it. Now you have to check, check it by taking 26.04 and dividing by three, negative 3.1. What's a, negative a positive divided by a negative? Negative. negative. And then you can we divide by 3.1? How many of you can just move that like that there one time and move it here one time and see that that's how you're really doing it? Can you guys see that? See how we're dividing by 3.1? Well, we can't divide by a decimal. So I move it one time in each one. So it's really going to be 260.4 and we're going to divide by 31. So tell me what you get when you divide those. 